I am part of Team Takajar, whose mission is to create sustainable charcoal making enterprises from organic waste in Kenya. This project was started rather serendipitously when I visited Kibera, the largest slum in Nairobi, with another MIT class. And while I was there, I noticed a lot of charcoal being traded by the roadside. And a casual conversation with our community partners, which are Carol and Kibera, revealed that charcoal is, in fact, a big problem. So in Kenya, cutting down trees to make charcoal is actually illegal. And yet in Kibera alone, more than 300 tons of charcoal is consumed every day. And increasingly stringent government regulations and scarcity of trees mean that the slum dwellers are often the ones who lose, as they now are spending almost half of their total income on skyrocketing cooking fuels prices. In Kibera, one of the large slum areas in the world, a young man gets up, he steps out of the house and gets his wheels barrel and push all the way to the sites that most people wouldn't want to be, the sites where all the waste has piled up. After four or five hours of hard work of collecting all the waste, he started to sort them. The plastic go to recycler. He only earned about one dollar per day. On his way home, he had to spend almost half of the one dollars to buy charcoal, which he has to use it to cook for meal for his family. And because of the increased price of the charcoal, he has to switch from three meals per day to two meals per day. So two major problems of Kibera and many other urban slums are waste management and charcoal supply. I would like to address both together. One really cool thing about our project is that we can turn one problem into the opportunity of the other. To be more specific, we are developing a process to convert common house organic waste into charcoal, which is a commonly used cooking fuel among many locals. We are working with the organization Carolina for Kibera and its network of waste sorting youth groups covering the waste management of 4,000 households. And if this project succeeds, we can easily expand to other communities in Kenya and other countries since charcoal and waste management are such a universal problem. If we win this award, over the next year, we will work with the local youth groups in Kibera to implement a pilot charcoal making business. The youth groups already collect and systematically sort household garbage, so sorting to get the right organic waste should be easy. At first, this will be small scale, targeting one or two youth groups in a small catchment area. The technology will initially be simple, costing no more than $20 in any capital investment. As the youth groups start producing more and more charcoal and want to scale up, we will work with them to invest in more sophisticated, robust, and efficient charcoal making technologies. We will support the youth groups to build sustainable charcoal making enterprises, while simultaneously developing a business model that will be sustainable for us as well. In subsequent years, this will allow us to expand to other parts of Kenya and beyond. You should vote for us if you care about mitigating one ton of greenhouse methane emissions a week. Increase the income of the area we're serving by $1,200 per month. Saving 700 trees per year. Properly managing 15 tons of garbage a week. Providing 100 houses with reliable and affordable charcoal supply. Oh, jambo guana.